Hi, welcome back. This is T with Tarika back for another video. Since it's Christmas, we're going to put up a Christmas theme video. And it's not really Christmas theme based, but I think that since I got my antlers on, I'm in front of my Christmas tree. As you can see, there's new scenery just to bring in the new year. I'm going to talk about something that I should have talked about before. It's going to be more of a story time. It's not surrounding Christmas, but I think that it's a good thing to talk about, honestly. So this story is going to be surrounding my crazy roommate. So back when I first started graduate school, I decided to move in with one of my friends. So we have known each other for about five years. We went to undergrad together. I'm going to call this girl B. So B and I used to um, be friends. We um, were on the same cheerleading team. We were doing a lot of stuff together. She stayed with me. We hung out a lot. Then I met her through cheerleading. So a lot of stuff we did together because I was very, very active in cheerleading. I've been, do, I've been a cheerleader since I was about, I think, 12, 13 years old, so I've been in cheerleading for like over 10 years. By the time I met um, B, she just started cheerleading in college, so we were on the same cheer team. So um, long story short, we decided after um, after my gap year back at home, after I graduated from U of R, I took a one year gap year, and I decided I wanted to come back for graduate school. So B, since she wanted to move out of her mom's house, she decided that we should um, live together. Warning. Don't live with your friends for for one to two reasons. Reason one, if your friend has never lived with someone, don't live with them. That was stupid of me. I was just really looking for a cheap way since I was in graduate school and I was a student again. I needed some way to live basically and way to pay rent and I need to share that with someone else. And people know these days that rent's expensive and some people have roommates as full grown adults. And I was 23 at this time, so I just needed someone basically to move in with. So actually, I was 22 at the time, so I need someone to move in with. So I asked my friend, B, who already lived in the area I was going to school at, if we could live together. So that's what we did. We moved in together, and we did all these things together. Back to the story. Anyway, we decided to move in together. So we picked a 15-month a 15 month lease to live with each other. And it's the first time she has lived with each other. And also, I'm going to highlight rule number two. If you want to keep your friends, don't move in with them. Don't move in with them. So like I said before, B has never lived with someone before. So when we originally moved in, I was coming in with new stuff. I never lived on my own. So a lot of the stuff I was originally buying. And since I was starting graduate school, legit with within a short period of time and a new job within a short period of time of moving to the area, I wasn't really hyped up on getting stuff for like our living room. The only stuff I was hyped up on getting was stuff for mainly me to sleep on, which included a bed, a mattress, pillows, comforter, all that stuff. So honestly, B kept asking to get stuff for the living room and I was like, let's put it off. Let's wait a little while because let me start getting my coins up with this new job and then we can definitely buy stuff together. But then she read, and then she told me when I was moving in that she bought a living room set. She bought oh, like a $2,000 couch. She emphasized that was a $2,000 couch. Okay, girl, $2,000. That's cool. Let it be $2,000. But for your first apartment, who buys $2,000 couch? We weren't living in high luxury and we weren't living in like a family house. We we're living in an apartment that usually had a lot of like, are a lot of college students that are already living there, a lot of old people. So I'm just sitting here like, okay, if you want to spend money on your $2,000 couch, spend money on your $2,000 couch. I bought a $2,000 wardrobe, but she can buy a $2,000 couch. So she sat there and bought herself a $2,000 couch and she bought herself a $2,000 couch for the living room. She emphasized that we both can share. I was like, okay, cool. We can share the couch. That's perfectly fine. We're going to share everything. We brought a couch, um, a little coffee table that like lifted up, and I was completely fine with that. And we shared the couch. So a lot of my story happens after a month of us living together. So she emphasized since our apartment was not the biggest and there was not really an area for like a table, she and her boyfriend at the time built um, this little coffee nook that honestly no one sat at. And I don't know why she built it because I was not going to sit at it. I never agreed to sit at no coffee nook. But I agreed to these rules of not sitting on that couch since $2,000. I know for a fact that the couch does have a warranty on it. That if you mess up the couch to the point that they can't fix it, then um, 
then the people will come in and replace your couch. The couch is from Ashley's furniture, home furniture store. So they have that warranty. If you guys know about the warranty, put that down below. And if I'm a little wrong on it, put that down below as well. I know for a fact that I got furniture from Ashley's as well. So that's the warranty they gave me. I don't know if they gave her the same warranty or she bought the warranty or not. But she said she did at the time. So I was like, okay, cool. So I stopped eating on the couch after she kept getting frustrated with me eating on the couch. So one morning, one morning, I was getting ready for work. I go to work same as she usually does. So I get up, get dressed, I'm eating. So we don't have, since we don't have a table, I walk around between my room and back to the kitchen eating. I'm eating a bowl of cereal and I'm just eating. I'm just eating and I'm watching Bad Girls Club on TV. Yes, I'm watching Bad Girls Club. Yes, I don't remember what episode I was watching. I was like watching one of the YouTube like hits and stuff, one of the reunion fights. So I'm just watching it to be watching it on YouTube because you're gonna cast stuff from your phone. So I was just watching on YouTube. So I sat on the couch and in the midst of me watching, like I wasn't paying attention. I just sat on the couch like a normal thing. I think I agreed in the last week or so and I, I must have lost habit with it. And that's my own fault. I will take fault for my wrongdoing. I just sit on the couch with a bowl of cereal. At this point, there was nothing in the bowl and I don't drink dairy milk. And I don't drink dairy milk. I drink almond milk. I'm a vegetarian. I'm not a vegan, but I just don't drink dairy milk at the end of the day. So I sat down and I'm still watching it. And she comes out of her room with her dog. And she starts yelling at me while I'm sitting on the couch. And I'm just like, first thing in my mind is like, first of all, girl, why are you yelling at me like that? Who do you think you're talking to? Who do you think you're talking to? I didn't say that, but I was thinking that. And I realized I was sitting down with a bowl of cereal. And I'm like, at least I was done eating. And she's like, it doesn't matter. Milk can get everywhere. It can stain the couch. I'm just sitting here. As she's yelling at me, integrating me in this moment, I'm just sitting here like, who you still, who are you talking to? Because you don't know me like that. Yes, we've been friends for five years, but I've never heard this girl talk to me like that. Just because it's her stuff. I know people have some importance about their things. I know people know that they don't want to like have their stuff messed up by other people. I understand that, but that's also the risk you take when you're living with a roommate. And I'm sitting there like, okay, can you stop yelling at me? Still yelling at me. If I tell you to stop yelling at me, stop yelling at me. I don't got time for that. Stop yelling at me. So I'm sitting there and I'm just like, me being petty, like I said, I don't drink dairy milk. I, drink, I picked up this bowl. I had this bowl in my hand. And I start drinking it just to emphasize that I don't give two ifs, ands, or buts about what she's saying. And she stumps out the door to walk her dog. So I get up, pour the rest of the milk out, feel a little sick to my stomach because I said I don't really drink dairy milk. But yes, I was eating a bowl of cereal, so that doesn't make any sense. Whatever. But I like to eat cereal with dairy milk. I don't really drink it, like drink it like out of the glass. But I went back into my bathroom. We both have separate bathrooms. And I said, put on my makeup. Because I'm about to leave for work. Let me see, put on my makeup in my mirror, putting on like mascara. This before I had eyelashes, but I put on my mascara. I was like, this in the mirror. And she walks in and starts going at me again about how I'm disrespectful, how I don't listen to her, how she, how I can't afford to on my couch, how I don't give, I don't care about what she's saying. And she's yelling in my doorway. Yap, 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 in my doorway. Yap, yap, yap. And I'm sitting here like, Okay, you can stop yelling. You can lower your voice. And I said that to her directly. You can lower your voice. I apologize. My words. I apologize for sitting on your couch. I'm sorry. She's sitting there stumping away. Grabs her stuff, slams the door, leaves to go to work. And I'm just like, okay, she cool. She'll be fine. She will be fine. That's my first thought. She will be fine. We had a little tiff. She will be okay with that. And she'll come back and be all brand new and dandy. So I knew before that, because this is around the summertime, I knew before that she was going out of the country to like one of her relatives um, weddings out of the country. And um, this is like two weeks prior. So I thought she, in the, that period of time, she'll get over it. She decided within that time to ignore me, to stop doing my dishes. Because before that we're doing, if any of us do dishes, we'll do all dishes in the sink. This time she'll just take my dishes and pull them to a side or she'll separate them on different sides of the two sinks. Like the two lay like the two side sinks, so put mine on one side and then do hers. And I'm just sitting here like, okay, now you just being petty. I understand I was petty first, but now you'd be even more petty. She took to another level by me coming out and talking to her. She'll sit there and ignore me. She did this for an entire week. And I'm just sitting here like, uh-uh. Because if we were friends for so long, why are you sitting here acting like I ain't nothing to you? Why are you sitting here acting like you don't know me like that? So around like I think the 4th of July, she started talking to me again, but she's, but she's making jokes, saying she's got to hide the furniture, how she's not going to let me sit on the furniture, how, by the way, I'm having, around the same weekend that she's going to be at the wedding, 
and at this um, celebration out of the country, I had friends come up for my 23rd birthday. So I'm just sitting here like, I will make sure, I promise her, I'll make sure that no one does anything. We won't even be in the apartment. So I told B that, like I said, we won't be in the apartment. We'll be fine, blah, blah, blah. Like, if no if ands or buts, like, who, like, like I'm, I'm, I'm t giving you my word. I'm giving you my word right now because I've been trustworthy with you the entire time for the next two weeks. And I said, I apologize for what I did. I apologize for everything. So I go home back because I'm, I'm, I live an hour away from where I was living at the time. So I'm back, back to my mom's house and I said to we my mom and my sister. So then I come back and I'm on the phone with my mom and I walk directly into, because the front door goes directly into the living room. I walked in there and it was empty. Then there was nothing around. I thought we were robbed. I was just like looking, I was looking left to right, like where's the furniture? Like in a in our in our living room, we had a full like sectional couch, a huge like coffee table. Um, she had a sixty five inch TV with a stand and a side table, and I'm just looking around like it was completely empty. And I'm just like, where is all the furniture? And I noticed that the um, lock to her room has been changed, and I look at her room door, and I'm just like. Let me jiggle this room door to see if the thing's open. I wasn't about to go in and take her stuff out. But I want to see if this thing was open. So I jiggle this room door. This thing's locked. So I'm in my head. I'm like, this girl, she's been playing games for the last week. Since so she had hide the furniture in her, in her room. She did hide the furniture in her room. That's ultimate petty. That's ultimate petty. That's why I'm like, oh, this girl crazy. She had locked all of her turn room. And I'm like, she really think I'm sitting here. Looking like I'm broke. I ain't broke. I just like to save money. But let me go out and buy my own furniture. So I went out within a week time, bought my own furniture, but refurnished the living room. And I got all this stuff, had my weekend with my girls for my birthday, for my 23rd birthday. We got lit. Yes, lit nation right there. So we got lit and everything. It was completely fine. So she comes back actually a little bit early. Didn't tell me she was coming back. Just showing up. She just showing up. I know it's her apartment, but she's showing up one night when I come back from one one um dinner with my girls during my birthday weekend. And she got happy go lucky. She looked a little tan. She just spent some time in the sun. I was like, okay, cool. And at this point, I didn't see what was in her room because she had her room door closed. So I know I know for a fact all that furniture was in her room. Honestly, our rooms were not that big, so I don't know how she fit all the furniture in her room. She went there, Houdini hiding that stuff in a magic hat. With a bunny, I don't know about that, but I'm sitting here like, okay, cool, keep your furniture in the room, you have a good time. So at the end of our weekend, I was still there with my sister, and I took my other friend back back home to, actually took her back to work. And I drove everywhere, and I was gone all morning. And like I mentioned before, my living room was refurnished with my furniture. So my furniture was still sitting there, ready, having a good time, chilling, my furniture was nice, all brand new, I bought it in the living room. When I come back from a birthday breakfast and drop off my friend, she decides to move all her furniture to the side and put her furniture back out there. And then she's going to get mad when I confront her about it. Like, why is your furniture out in the living room? And I, she's like, well, was there to start with? And I'm like, okay, no, 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 no. We're not going to do this because you sat there and want to put your furniture in your room. So kindly put your furniture back in your room. I actually said politely, I said, please put this back in your room. Because it was not out there for the last, like, two weeks. I referred to the living room. And my furniture is going to stay where it's at. So, there there you go. And she's, like, getting mad at me, like, what do you mean? I got the furniture fitted for the living room so that fits perfectly. And I'm, like, so here, like, that's not my problem, sweetie. That's not my problem. You just, like, put all your stuff in your room. So, keep it in your room. That makes sense. If you think that makes sense, put that put some comments down below. Because I think that makes sense. And that makes perfect sense. If you decide to do stuff with your furniture and be petty like she was and put that stuff back in your room and not let it share with your roommate, I understand that's your stuff that you want and you want it to be your stuff and, make, and let it stay nice. But at the same time, I don't want to sit here and have you say that you want to share furniture with me and be okay with that. And then when it comes down to it, you don't want to share nothing with me. So keep furniture in your room. And... Going on to future events, she decided that since I didn't want to compromise with her at the time, she decided to turn off the internet 
in the apartment since it was in her name. Let me turn off. Put it, change the password, not tell me. The thing about me, that was super petty because I was in school at the time. I was in my first year of graduate school and I need internet. I help us get online, do my class and do stuff online if I have internet. So I had to go out of my way to campus to do stuff. When I could just do stuff at home, do my classes at home, but I can't do that because she, took, because she changed the password to the internet and stuff. So I didn't have access to it. So I don't know what happened, but her course or internet magically disappeared. They magically disappeared. Phil Russell came in and stole them. I don't know what happened to them. They gone. They gone forever. I don't know what happened to them. And I still don't know to this day what happened to them. So those cords are gone. She got mad at me, calling me a thief and all this other stuff. I ain't no thief. She stole my pride and my freedom by sitting there lying about sharing furniture with me. But she wants to sit there and share furniture with me, really. And I ain't, and I ain't even petty to start with. That's my thing. Don't do anything to me. You don't want something done back to you. And I sit there and try to talk it out with you. Because I sat there and asked her, even after she put the furniture back in her room, I messaged her on Facebook. I was like, where's furniture? She said, in her room. I said, okay. So you sat there and did all this stuff. And think, I'm going to have a argument with you over Facebook about furniture? No, I'm going to go out and be a boss and be a boss that I am and buy my own stuff. Because I ain't broke. And first of all, don't move my furniture because I will move yours right back. And I will put it in the corner because it doesn't belong out there if you want to sit there and be petty and put it in your room. We got into a huge argument. We're no longer friends. We're no longer talking. She came back back at me like months later after the 15 months because all this events happened within the first month. So 14 months of living with her in complete silence. And I was, and honestly, because she made me mad, I was petty the entire year. She made me mad because I, I was trying to come up with compromise. So I talked to her multiple times about coming with compromise about the living room, but she didn't want to do anything. She didn't want to compromise, and she said, I didn't want to compromise, but it's like, why are you being a, why are you being, um, a hypocrite about it? Because I did try to come to you and compromise, so don't sit here and tell people stories that make no sense because I sat there straight to your face and told you what we could do, and I will take your comments as well. And she's sitting there talking about, you're going to go to school and be a therapist, but you can't sit here and have a reasonable conversation. You're going to go all crazy. I'm like, girl, you crazy. You crazy. Because... I may be looking crazy, but I ain't crazy. Let's start there. So, in a, like I said, in the story, we're in France. She came back to me months later about security deposit and talking about I'm forging checks and everything. Because really, the complex sent me because I was the last person to move out. Um, when we moved, when she moved out, she wasn't going to tell me she's going to move out and leave before the end of our lease. I caught her in the act of her leaving. And she sent me the last month rent, and that, and I paid it. And the security deposit came. When I left, they told me put my name now instead of the last person. They sent me the security deposit. They sent me the security deposit, but within the same time, I was changing jobs. So I got my check for my vacation. I got my first check from my new job, and I got security deposit. It was all deposited in my account. So I didn't know what was security deposit was not. I wasn't looking. I was spending because around that same time, that was my 24th birthday. So I was getting litty like I usually do. I would spend my money because I'm a boss. And I spend my money. And she sent her client at me months later. Talking about I'm a liar and I'm a thief again. Talking about I'm still on her, the security deposit. And that she's going to take me to small claims for for what? A $200 security deposit for half of it? You mean you want to take me to small claims court for $100? Really? Really? Girl? Please. First of all, I didn't know you had it. And she asked me for it around the time I didn't have no money in my account. So I told her, why don't you just wait until I get paid? She's like, no, I want it now. You're going to give me back by this time the next day. Then she's going to send me to small claims court. I was like, okay, cool. Had a good day. If you want to see these messages, I'll show you the messages. I'll put those real quick on here. But I'm not about to put her on black because that's going to show her name and everything because I'm not about to be petty. I mean, we all, we all we all have our petty times. We all be talking about some petty things. And I hope she over her pettiness because I'm sitting here not trying to be petty towards her. I'm just telling my story that she was a crazy roommate in the situation. And she's going to sit here and say the same thing about me. She can sit there and say the same thing about me. But I stood my grounds. I'm not going to act my... I'm not going to ask... I'm not going to let somebody be disrespectful towards me and make me feel like I don't, I can't have any control over anything because that's not true. 
So thank you guys for tuning in. This is this was Tea with Tarika. I just want to let you guys know there's still the giveaways going on. The giveaway is going to go until January 1st, 2021. So like I said, you have to subscribe to my channel, like and comment on two of my videos, and you'll be put into the drawing for a prize from, a, prize from me. Like I said, it's for males or females. You'll be get sent something. So keep your social media lines open so I can find out some contact information to send in your gift. So like I said, thank you for tuning in with the Tea with Tarika. I want you guys to have a good rest of your day. Let me grab my tea. All right, guys, have a good day. Bye-bye.